factors. Let's welcome Mr. Matthew. This is cool. And he is a math teacher and he loves teaching math. Let's welcome his students too. Yeah, the pretty smart. Mr. Matthew wants to show you an apple activity. Let's see what's this. He has got six apples. And he wants to put them in the baskets. The number of baskets they bring is their roll numbers. So roll number one will get one basket, roll number two will get two baskets. And all the baskets should be filled in the same way. Every basket should have the same number of apples. And nothing should be left behind. There should be no apple left behind. Let's see how the students work. So we'll start with roll number one and the six apples. As per his roll number, he has got one basket and that's a big one. So he starts filling it up one by one and he has filled up the basket with all the six apples. He's pretty smart. He has got one basket. So he has a group of six. That means he has one group of six apples. So in one basket, all the six apples are filled. Well done, man. Next, it's the turn of roll number two. As per his roll number, he has got two baskets now. So he starts filling up one by one. And he fills up the two baskets, three each. So in each basket, he has three apples. So three plus three, six apples. He too had done it. So he has got now two groups of three. Yeah, pretty good. Next, chance of roll number three. Three baskets. He starts filling it up one by one. So more three are left out, more three baskets are there. So each one will get to one. So in each basket, he can fill two apples. So two, 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 all are same, good. So he gets three groups of two apples each. So in each group, there are two apples. Like that, there are three groups. Yes, very good. Now it's the turn of roll number four. Now he has got four baskets. So he starts filling up one by one. Oops. Now there are two apples. But there are four baskets. Now they cannot be filled up. Because the number of apples is less. But the number of baskets are more. So he is left with two more apples. Oops. So what to do? So he cannot finish this activity. Let's give the chance to roll number five. Now he has got five baskets. He starts filling up one by one. Again, one more is left out. So he is left out with one apple. The same thing. He could also not finish the activity. Because one apple is left behind. Nothing should be left. So he could not finish the activity. Now it's the turn of row number six. Six baskets, six apples. So each basket has one apple. It's easily done. It is smart. So he has six groups of one. So each group has one apple. That means each basket has one apple. So six groups of one apple. Excellent. Now it's turn of row number seven. 7 has 7 baskets, but problem only 6 apples, but 7 basket. So, 1 basket is left out and there are no apples to fill it. So, he could not do it. By saying this, roll number 8 and roll number 9, they two are in a problem because they have more baskets than roll number 7. So, 
these three also could not do it so we see here these six apples could only be done by roll number 1 2 3 and 6 but could not be divided by 4 5 and 7 they could not do it so we can say that these six apples could be grouped into one or six either one group of six or six groups of one similarly either two groups of three or three groups of two but could not be grouped into four five or seven so this says six apples can be grouped under one two three or six only that means they don't leave any remainder as we have seen for roll number 1 2 3 and 6 they did not have any apple left behind now so we can say that 6 is divisible by 1 by 2 by 3 and by 6 we can divide 6 by 1 2 3 and 6 and there will be no remainder left out the remainder will be zero so this says that 6 is exactly divisible by 1 2 3 3 and 6 so when i say exactly divisible that means there is no remainder when we divide 6 by 1 2 3 or 6 so 1 2 3 and 6 are the exact divisors of 6 1 2 3 and 6 are the exact divisors so exact divisors are called as factors so 1 2 3 and 6 are the factors of 6 So you have to remember this. Exact divisors means factors. Now, what are exact divisors? The divisors that leave no remainder. So, factors. Factors of a number divides the number leaving no remainder. Factors are the exact divisors of a number. Exact divisors they leave no remainder. Remember this. Factors are the exact divisors of a number. so any divisor to become an exact divisor must divide the number exactly so all the divisors cannot be exact divisors to become an exact divisor they should divide the number exactly that means there should be no remainder the remainder must come zero now finding factors let's take the number 24 we'll find the factors of 24 so always we'll start with 1 as you have seen in the activity if i bring one basket i can fill any number of apples in that so since here 24 are there so one is the best one to choose so we'll start with 1 so one group of 24 next i can do it with two so two groups of 12 three groups of 8 Four groups of six. We can see two times twelve is twenty-four. Three times eight is twenty-four. Four times six is also twenty-four. So we are getting the twenty-four answer. Next, if I try with five, now twenty-four is not divisible by five. So we'll try with six. So six times four is twenty-four. So twenty-four can be grouped into six also. But already we have. Now six four is twenty four. Four six is twenty four. Both are the same commutative property here. So we need not write it. So what you have to remember once you are getting the same number again. See here four times six we have already written. So six is again coming. So no need to write it. So you can just leave it like that. Now here you have to stop our multiplications. Now. One multiplied by twenty-four, so one group of twenty-four or twenty-four groups of one, two groups of twelve or twelve groups of two, like that. Three groups of eight or eight groups of three, four groups of six or six groups of four. So this says that one, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, twenty-four, all are the factors. So. The factors of twenty-four are one, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, twenty-four. These are the factors of twenty-four.
so let's see more about factors it says that 1 is the factor of every number as i have said 24 all the 24 i can keep it in one group so 1 is the factor of every number next every number is a factor of itself so here you can see that 24 i can keep in one group so in one group i can keep 24 apples or in 24 groups i can keep one apple each so as you have seen in the activity in six baskets i can keep one one apple and in one basket i keep all six apples so every number is a factor of itself so 24 is a factor of 24 5 is a factor of 5 6 is a factor of 6 like that next factors of a number are always equal or smaller than the number so here we can see the factors of 24 are 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 24 see the highest factor here is 24 and all the factors are less than 24 only more than 24 will never get it as a factor as we have seen in the activity uh, for roll number 7 now, roll number 7 the problem was there were 6 apples but he brought 7 baskets that's why he was left out with 1 basket empty here this shows that the factors should be either equal or less than the number they cannot be more than the number next factors of a number are finite that means it is countable so we can see here so 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 12 so we can count them so there are 8 factors of 24 we can count it next the numbers multiplied to get a product are the factors of the product now we can see here uh, let us take 3 8s are 24 now when we multiply 3 and 8 we get 24 that means 3 and 8 are the factors of 24 3 and 8 both are the factors of 24 similarly 4 and 6 are the factors of 24 2 and 12 are the factors of 24 1 and 24 is also factors of 24 so let's repeat it again first one is 1 is the factor of every number and every number is a factor of itself factors of a number are always equal or smaller than the number and factors of a number are finite that means we can count them the numbers multiplied when we multiply two numbers and get the answer that's the product these two numbers what you are multiplying are the factors of the product so things to remember to find out the factors what are the three important things first one is multiplication tables we should be very good at that multiplications and divisibility rules of numbers now divisibility rules one how we'll know whether it is divisible by 2 or by 3 or by 5 without actually dividing that one you have to remember next is all the division methods if you are not able to uh, remember divisibility rule you have to learn the division methods properly thank you and keep exploring